Windows. Windows is the most used operating system in the world made by Microsoft. It first came out in 1985 as Windows 1.0, which was just a simple menu system running on top of MSDOS. Over time, it improved with versions like Windows 95, XP, 7, 10, and now Windows 11, each adding new designs and better features. The biggest reason Windows is so popular is because it's flexible and works on almost any computer. You can use it for gaming, office work, or programming. It can handle it all. But it's not perfect. Windows needs powerful hardware, so older or cheaper PCs can run slowly. It also has constant updates. Since Windows is the most used system, it's also the main target for viruses and malware. So you have to be careful online. Mac OS. Mac OS, made by Apple, first launched in 2001 as Mac OS X, the main system for all Mac computers. Mac OS is only built for Apple devices. Unlike Windows, which works across tons of PC brands, that exclusivity might sound limiting, but it's also what gives Macs their signature smoothness. Because Apple designs both the hardware and software, everything works perfectly together, with fewer bugs, fewer crashes, and overall better performance. Mac OS is especially loved by video editors, photographers, music producers, and designers because it has a clean design, fewer background tasks, and tends to save more battery life compared to Windows laptops. It's also great for people who already use other Apple products. You can answer calls, text, or share files between your iPhone, iPad, and Mac without any extra setup. Everything just syncs automatically. That's the Apple ecosystem. Linux. Linux isn't a single program like Windows or Mac OS. It's more like a foundation that other systems are built on. The first version came out in 1991, created by Linus Torvalds, a Finnish software engineer who wanted a free and open source alternative to expensive systems. Since then, Linux has grown into a whole family of operating systems known as distributions or distros. Each distro is like its own flavor of Linux. For example, Ubuntu and Fedora are popular for regular users, while Debian and CentOS are favorites for servers and professionals. One of Linux's biggest strengths is efficiency. It runs smoothly, even on older or low-end computers, and it's famous for being fast, stable, and secure. That's why companies like Google, Facebook, and NASA rely on Linux servers to power their systems. And here's something many people don't know. Android, the system used on billions of phones, is also based on Linux. Even devices like Raspberry Pi mini computers and smart home systems use it. Because Linux is open source, anyone can modify it, customize its look, or even create their own version. That freedom has made it super popular in programming, cybersecurity, and data science. But it's not all perfect. Linux can be tricky for beginners, since many versions use command line tools instead of simple menus. It's also less friendly for gaming, and not every popular app is available. Chrome OS. Chrome OS, developed by Google, came out in 2011 with one main goal, to make computing faster, simpler, and more connected to the cloud. Instead of relying on heavy software like Windows or Mac OS, Chrome OS was built around the Google Chrome browser, meaning almost everything happens online. It mainly runs on Chromebooks, which are affordable laptops known for their speed, security, and simplicity, perfect for students and everyday web users. They start up in just a few seconds, update automatically in the background, and rarely slow down over time. Security is one of Chrome OS's biggest strengths. Most files and apps are stored safely on Google's cloud servers, not on your device. So the risk of viruses or data loss is much lower. And thanks to the Google Play Store, Chromebooks can also install Android apps, giving you access to millions of mobile tools and games. But of course, Chrome OS isn't for everyone. Since it's so internet dependent, it doesn't perform well offline. Most features need a stable connection and heavy multitasking can be limited. And while you can technically play games through cloud gaming services like GeForce Now, it depends entirely on how fast your internet is. No strong connection, no smooth gameplay. Android. 
Android is an open source operating system created by Google. It's the most widely used mobile OS globally, found on phones from brands like Samsung, Xiaomi, OnePlus, and many more. One of Android's biggest strengths is customization. You can change themes, try different launchers, and tweak almost every part of the interface, something you can't do on iOS. It also gives you access to the Google Play Store, which has millions of apps and games for work, entertainment, and everything in between. Another advantage? Variety. Android runs on phones at almost every price point, from affordable budget models to high-end flagship devices with top-of-the-line specs. But not all phones get regular updates, which can make older devices slower over time and more vulnerable to security issues. Many phones also come with bloatware, apps that manufacturers pre-install and often can't remove. And while Android is powerful, it's generally less optimized than iOS. That means some apps may run a bit slower or lag on Android. iOS iOS is made by Apple and only runs on Apple devices like iPhones and iPads. Unlike Android, which is open source and used by many brands, iOS is exclusive, giving Apple full control over both hardware and software. This control brings major advantages. iOS devices are stable, secure, and receive updates for many years. Even older iPhones get new software for a long time. The App Store is also highly curated, so apps tend to be more polished and developers often release updates on iOS. OS first. Another strength is the Apple ecosystem. iPhones, iPads, MacBooks, and Apple Watches all work seamlessly together. You can start a task on one device and pick it up on another without missing a beat. But it's more restrictive than Android. You can't freely customize home screens, install apps outside the App Store, or easily transfer files without using Apple's services. iPhones also lack expandable storage and sometimes even ports like the headphone jack. Finally, iPhones tend to be expensive, and Apple often keeps the same design or features across multiple generations, which some users find repetitive. Unix Unix is one of the oldest operating systems, first developed in the late 1960s at Bell Labs by AT&T. It was designed as a multi-user, multitasking system, mainly for servers, research labs, and high-end computing. Unlike Windows or Mac OS, Unix isn't something most people run on their personal computers. Instead, it handles massive workloads in industries like banking, scientific research, and meteorology. Unix is also expensive to deploy. Each user license costs around $1,447, so outfitting a company with hundreds of employees can easily run into the hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's why it's mostly reserved for organizations that need high performance and reliability. Even though it's old, Unix laid the foundation for Linux, Mac OS, and many other modern systems, influencing the way computers handle multiple users, processes, and servers today. BSD. BSD, or Berkeley Software Distribution, is a group of operating systems that started at the University of California, Berkeley, in the 1970s. It's actually built on Unix, so it inherited Unix's stability and efficiency. Unlike Windows or Mac OS, BSD isn't made for everyday laptops. Instead, it's mostly used by tech experts for things like servers, networking, and embedded systems. Its ability to handle heavy workloads efficiently is what makes it so popular in professional environments. BSD comes in several major versions, including FreeBSD, OpenBSD, and NetBSD, each with its own focus, from general-purpose servers to extreme security and portability. 